And Chicago's famous sculptor, Cloud Gate, now there's an imposter. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Sullivan. And I'm Rob Johnson. That imposter showed up in China and is creating an international fight. Some say we've been robbed. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemignot is live at the Bean. And Suzanne, what's going on? Well, I decided to walk up to just random people and show them this photo. This is the sculpture in China. I wanted to get their reaction. I'm going to show you a picture, and okay. I want you to tell me what you think this looks like. What is this? That is the beam. And it looks like what I'm standing in front of. It looks the same. What does this look like to you, okay. this picture? The beam. Without question? Without question. Each person thinks this is a photo of Chicago's beloved bean, or cloud gate, by sculptor Anish Kapoor. I love Chicago! But it's not. It does look like a copy, but it does have something else, obviously, in the picture. A little different? Yes, it does. I would understand, like, why they would kind of, like, go and, like, try to take legal action at it, but it's, um, yeah, it, it resembles a lot about the beans. Kapoor thinks the so-called Chinese oil bubble sculpture in Karame resembles his work too. In a statement, the famed Indian British sculptor says, it seems that in China today it is permissible to steal the creativity of others. I feel I must take this to the highest level and pursue those responsible in the courts. I hope that the mayor of Chicago will join me in this action. Mayor Rahm Emanuel speaking to WBBM News Radio at a Park District event said, is the greatest form of flattery, is what I would say. And if you want to see original artwork like this or like the bean, you come to Chicago. Well, in published reports, Chinese officials say any similarities are purely a coincidence. Live in front of the bean in Millennium Park, Suzanne Lemonio, CBS 2 News. Rob, Kate, looks like a knockoff to me. It sure does, <laughs> Thanks, no Suzanne. doubt.